This is Aunt Kelly's dream sequence. It is my pleasure to perform this reading for a close family friend, Kelly Hickey, or Great Aunt Kelly as she is known on Facebook. She truly has a powerful chart and has endured quite a lot of drama in her amazing journey. As a Capricorn axis rising, she puts the pedal to the metal to make life work and always presents her best self possible, being aspiring and hardworking in nature. Her son occupies the first house in this position, indicating the first 15 to 20 years of her life were an uphill battle to achieve a great personal goal. However, her son progressed into Aquarius' second house as she reached adulthood, meaning her life fortune suddenly began to reflect her unique and intellectually distinguished values, and fortune favored her. She has a creative Pisces third house and her moon is cusping Aries near the nadir at the base of her chart, indicating that from the beginning her hustle has been to belong somewhere and find her place in life. There is thus a sort of roaming lunar quality to Great Aunt Kelly, like the moon searching for her place. Saturn in the fifth indicates great effort to please others and herself are a life discipline for her. Her profession as a healer, hostess, caterer, and massage therapist reflect this effort to provide luxury and security for absolutely everyone. Of course, she is skillful with Gemini in the sixth, and her seventh house cancer longs for a home team. But her son opposes this position, meaning she jumps from team to team in search of the right fit. She puts on a brave face in Leo 8th house, but the 9th house is where things get dicey as she has Pluto conjunct her midhaven from this position. It is in Libra. This means Great Aunt Kelly is secretly famous for bargaining campaigns and charming negotiations with famous figures. With Uranus in the 10th house in Libra, this means her whole sense of humor is adapted to the romantic dramas of this career and she entertains herself with all the zany characters that roam comedically around her in her adventures. Of course, Aunt Kelly has a bit of professional action spy about her because Mars is in Scorpio on the 11th. This combined with Pluto in the Midhaven indicates tons of intense and clandestine social intrigues to fend off throughout her life. Last but not least is Neptune in Sagittarius 12. This makes her an eternal dreamer on a quest to experience visions of grandeur. Did I mention that Mercury conjuncts her ascendant from this position, by the way? This means that she is extremely wise and perceptive in action. This has been Great Aunt Kelly's Dream Sequence. Much love, Fade.